Hello guys, today is a day that you'll probably have two episodes, this is the second episode you're watching. Um, fuck sakes, apparently we're in a war zone. Um, ah yes. Whoops. Needed that use. Alright, so, as you guys know, I found the concrete book. And um, today is going to be a day about beautification. Let's get this place back together here. Um, back to beauty. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, <laughs> uh, repair everything about it. Put down some spikes. I am um, I have no fear of the Day 7 Horde. Honestly, I think that um, what we're going to experience is going to be less scary than what we've been seeing up until now and the reason why I think this is the case is I've spent uh, seven days watching the console and seeing how they they do what they do and um, what I've noticed is that they want well for one thing they're 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 assuming that um, that the people playing the game are playing it as it's intended so that you know you, you get about an hour in each day and um, after that hour is over can you reach oh you can well son of a bitch hey no one's even looted this guy are you kidding me um yeah so you get an hour in each day and after that hour is gone then it's another new day um whereas we've had many days um leading up to this so what they do is on day six and day seven during the daytime they don't spawn hordes uh wandering hordes anymore so we've actually had more mobs leading up to day seven than we're going to have on day seven just because of how how it does the spawning and if you guys remember originally i talked about how we could spawn mobs on other mobs well i misunderstood how that works uh, you can only spawn mobs on entities that are players, not entities that are non-players. Oh, well, that's how they got to this guy. Fuck my life. Um, it's all right. We'll take nothing from there. Um, so day seven is going to be a breeze, man. Honestly. Um, and without uh, without there being gore blocks, which is something I'm going to harp on a little bit, because uh, a lot of the guys don't like the gore blocks, and that's yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Um, you know, but I think that the game difficulty is balanced around it because with the mobs just despawning when they die, I'm pretty sure all you need is two layers of spikes and to sit on your ass and wait for everything to die. And there's no consequence of everything dying because there, uh, there's no gore blocks anymore. Um, so yeah, you can, I, I'm pretty sure you can just cheese the game and, uh, ignore the mobs completely and place down a few spikes and be done with it. So I'm a little disappointed by all this. I'm going to do my best to um, increase the difficulty for us during day seven if we find it too easy. The thing is that the tools they give to increase difficulty uh, like spawning hordes um, or wandering hordes, those type of things, uh, don't work on day six and seven. Uh, because for whatever reason, like I've been watching the console, and on day six and seven, whenever it spawns a wandering horde, it uh, spawns a wandering horde of a zero. And again, I think that is because they want the difficulty to be easier on day six and day seven during the daytime and during the nighttime on day six, so that you can be ready for the day seven horde. Um, and they're also assuming you've only had seven hours of game time leading up to day seven, not seven days of game time. Um, so, that's the rundown on game difficulty leading into our day seven here. But, um, I've had a few ideas. Since, since, uh, since the game won't let you spawn mobs on anything but a player, I think it might be time to get easy CGI involved again. Um, and set up a second computer and log into the game on him and have him stand... Like he could go stand over there or something out there. I need to break this and I can get a better look. Uh, go stand out, out out in that area and uh, could spawn hordes on him. Or not hordes, but mobs on him. And hope they wander in towards the city. That, that sort of thing. I don't know if you can put him in creative and have him fly and that sort of thing. I haven't tested any of that 
type of stuff. But I'm definitely looking into ways to give us give us a little bit of a challenge. Uh, because some of the methods that I originally thought would work to give us a challenge don't work as I as I had as I had thought upon initial reading. Um, so But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to beautify this place. We're gonna get it get everything back back in order here. And we can at least hang out here as a group tomorrow um, during the day the day seven horde and see what happens. Hopefully hopefully it's really really scary and dangerous. Um, the other thing is I've been I've been working on uh, getting some bullets and stuff. And I think that they need a little bit more tweaking with um, the drop rate on things like coal. Uh, you find a pile of coal now, and you get 200 or 500 coal out of it. And then the same thing with the potassium nitrate. And those are the two things you need to make gunpowder. So I've made a ridiculous number of bullets right now because of how easy it is to make them. So... Yeah, <laughs> even if day seven was going to be this insane seven thousand zombies, I feel like I could just kill them all by myself with a shotgun. And I just keep saying you can get glass from those. I don't know how, if if that's the case. Nothing I've broken them with gives me anything. Um, but when I talk about beautification, I don't just mean fixing up the, uh, the town hall here. I would like to, uh, start working on the lots around my house and then slowly spread out and repair, not repair, but clean up the, um, each little lot, uh, at least the ones near my house, you know, uh, trees like, like those near my house, those can just go away. Um, and I guess I should show you guys where I'm at on the wall. Because I've been working on the wall off and on, and I haven't really shown an update in several videos. Uh, the thing with the wall is it's really pointless. It's mainly just for my own my own self at this point. Because um, I think I'm gonna get rid of this wall right here, or at least block it up. I don't know if we want easy access from that shitty building into this good building. I wonder if everyone has looted everything. They should by now. Or not. And these are good boxes, believe it or not. I've got uh, good loot from these. This guy's been looted for sure. Okay, this door has not been opened, but this one has... Stuff's been looted. <laughs> Fuck these noisy things. The haze gone. What are these blocks right here? Are these concrete too? Oh no, they're not. What these? I mean, unless the guys get inside, I really don't need to upgrade these. I guess I'll leave them alone. They look better as uh, stucco or sheet rock. I guess it's not stucco, is it? All right, let's go take a look at where I'm at on the wall. And then I'm going to work on this for a little while, get things upgraded here. All right, so as you guys know, there's where it starts. I think the last time I showed you, I'd only got down here towards, like, Beef's house. Let's take a beer. So we can run. But yeah, I talk about beautification and get rid of, like, those backpacks. Because that type of stuff's never going to respawn unless we all leave this town and don't come back for two days. Which, what's the chances of that, right? So... Like same as in here. This stuff, this stuff will never, will never respawn. 
Ever, ever, ever. Sadly. It's kind of a shame to have a bookstore that never respawns. Um, yeah, and like these trees, chop these ugly ass trees down. You can tell right here's where I scrapped a car on the other side of the fence because I accidentally had iron on me and upgraded to iron. Iron. It goes for quite a ways as you can see. I wish there was a way to change the biome somehow. So one of my ideas was so if you look at the map here, we have several roads that cross completely. Like every every one of these roads cross completely. And then you have these two roads that go down the center all the way. I was thinking in the roads, really all of them, even, even these, we could do the same that I'm about to say. Um, but down the very center of them, run, run this wall and then connect our houses to the wall. So you could technically get everywhere in the city from the wall and you would never have to actually go down into the street. And what that would do is it would allow us to not care about the fact that zombies are going to sometimes spawn in like in the town here because um, that's gonna happen there's no way you know sleeping bags prevent spawn and so do um, why well, hit E I knew it was empty I read the word empty it's still shocking to me to find things that haven't been searched in town that's why I came in here because I was like I bet you there's gonna be stuff that hasn't been searched okay that's that's what I was really coming to see because that's the one that people miss the most um, I need brass too. I've used up all my brass to make uh, bullets. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, things that prevent spawn are sleeping bags, but that only works if the player's online. Like if you look now on the map, you can see who's online because their sleeping bag is green. Um, if they're offline, then their sleeping bag is not green, and then there's my sleeping bag is white. Um, and if the sleeping bag's not green, it no longer prevents player sp uh, or zombie spawns. Uh, the other thing is. Um, user placed blocks those also prevent zombie spawns um, so we could line the entire floor of the town with user placed blocks or we could um, just start building inter interconnecting walls within the city and I think that's that's a more logical thing to do the only thing is and I, and I haven't done it because I haven't asked people's opinion yet the only thing I, I don't like about it is I think it's kind of ugly um, to divide up our town because I, I could no longer look across the street and see Doc's house. The advantage to that is I don't have to look at this white-ass ball of fucking light for everyone that thinks that it's really cool to have these spotlights. I hate these spotlights with such a passion that I feel like I should write a play about it or something. Like, I hate these spotlights, but everyone seems to really enjoy them, so each their own but my god are they obnoxious I want to make like 700 of them and just fucking blind the world so here's as far as I've got as you can see and I ran out of wood to upgrade them with the uh this this device the nail gun makes a big difference and I've made 500 more wooden frames and you probably just saw I made a thousand or a thousand made a hundred uh, iron bars for um, the outside of the town hall so what I'm gonna do is that top level there I'm gonna make the wall the like a, a balcony like we had on our house in our single player um, and uh, you'll be able to walk out there and there'll be iron bars that we can shoot through like I said I have so many bullets and Spikes alone really take care of all zombies right now until they re-implement core blocks. That I don't think that we're going to have anything to worry about at all. Um, so yeah, here's as far as I've gotten. Which is pretty close, as you, if you can tell. Like, uh, we don't have much further than I have to do this whole side, right? But I've done more than half at this point, right? Doc wants to know what the sound is. I can tell. Like what's what's this upgrading sound? Or not? I mean, he just he's got somewhere to be. <laughs> I assumed he was coming to see what the sound was. I keep leaving their 
shit in the trash. Isn't that where shit goes, Jason? Apparently those are pretty easy to collapse. I wonder if you can reach the safe from right there. Oh yeah, somebody definitely got this safe, right? Where's the safe? Yeah, right there. I thought it was late for a second there. I was like, oh god, I messed up. Oh, I guess I uh, had not loaded my lead arrows yet. Lead? Still? Wow, why is my aim so bad? I want to kill this lady over there because uh, she's likely to have um, moldy bread. I'm almost out of my antibiotic creating materials. Nope, it's the full first aid kit. Which I guess is okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ! The fuck, you got a sniper rifle schematic on you. What the hell? That man was a sniper in his previous life. Mr. Bloated. He ate too much tuna. Alright, this is the outside road. Yeah. Hell, you know what I'm going to do on day uh, 7 is I'm going to have uh, food on my bar the entire time. Try to force some difficulty. Just a this mess. Mmm, dog food. I wonder if dog food's lower as well, and I should have paid attention to that actually before I eat that. Get rid of all these ugly ass trees, I can't wait. I can't wait to be done with these trees. I can't believe how much loot there still is here in town. Buddy, uh, I should fix those. Oh, I can't even eat it. Son of a bitch. Crop. Wouldn't be a good video if my inventory wasn't full, would it? I'll keep that glass, cause there's not a good source of glass around this. I just want to leave that empty mainly. But oh, I didn't want to loot this guy too. Dang it. Now, now we're back in the dilemma here. Let's get rid of wood debris. Oh, I could have scrapped those. Get that wood debris back. Alright. I mean, we're right here near the house. It's not like this big, big issue here. Where's the turds at? Someone asked why I wasn't looting toilets in my last episode. And the reason why is because I'm too tempted to take the turds, and I knew I didn't have inventory room for it. So I wasn't looting the um, the toilets because I would be trying to take the turds. All right. Must remember not to walk through Doc's yard. Doc has been TNTing the ground here. I live by people that like to play with explosives, both in real life and in this game. It's freaky, man. Alright, well I'm going to stop here for now and work on, let me get more TVs, uh, work on getting everything together for um, for that building, upgrade it some, uh, I want to have plenty of tallow so I could put candles everywhere, so that's what that's all about, you can be off now, um, you're still going, you probably can be off too. I need to go get more stone. Probably gonna spend a day just uh, just caving again. That's where I got um, the iron we have in here, uh, as well as the lead and not brass. Brass is not come from caves, unfortunately. Um, and yeah, you can. I'll show you what I've done upstairs. Here is I have. Uh, it's basically I have a mini bike and gun rack here in the front of my house. So I got my mini bike in here, and then these are my guns. Um, 
so um, using the shotgun slugs and the actual full-on shotgun and the sawed-off shotgun I'm gonna use my shells in that um, I cannot make the 762 bullets it's the only bullet I can't make um, I need to make magna bullets I just haven't gotten around to it yet so but anyways I'll be back with you guys shortly here alright guys I've finished my repairs here it took uh, many many hours about five hours have been put into this thing here um, but I've got everything as good as I think it's gonna be at least for tomorrow uh, so I've got everything lit up as you can tell we have lights everywhere um, I've put down iron bars as as you guys know it's always good um, so we can run around the entire place here safely with the fence and the iron bars cops will destroy these fences pretty quickly so people probably fall off and die and that'll be amusing um, on the interior here, everywhere that made sense, I put these ramps to just easily run out. Um, a video and Co have been out wandering most of the night, and they uh, they just made mini bikes. That's what you hear. They even made Vex one, so those three are off mini biking. Um, okay, so yeah, I put lights everywhere, so everything is lit up, no matter what time of day or night it is. You can actually see in this place now. Um, I repaired the front here. So we've got uh, still, actually, as far as I could put it. Um, I could technically do a couple more, but eh. Um, I really want to do the floor. I like how the floor blocks look, which is these grates, like this right here. Um, put a vault door on it, as you can tell. So, good old vault door. Put down spikes all the way around. I'm really worried. He was very trolly, and he keeps trying to hit me with his bike, which will kill me. And I, I value my wellness way too much to be killed for fun. <laughs> um, and of course, I filled in all the windows on the lower level here with concrete and uh, fixed those up. I think with time, I would like to make the whole building still. I wasn't quite sure if I thought if I was going to like the way this still looked, but I put more on my house over here. Let me take a look at that really quick. I'll watch my back. I don't get ran over. Um, <laughs> I also have been uh, working on the town beautification project of mine uh, to, to try to repair repair the town as much as I can. So apparently um, there's a there's a bug in the XML that makes the uh, axe count as a blade weapon and not a mining tool, and apparently that'll fix uh, the speed at which it, it mines or chops trees if you have, if we fix that. So I need to do that. Uh, but yeah, I've been getting rid of these these ugly ass trees that you see everywhere. There's still plenty of them, um, and also getting rid of all the uh, bricks. I haven't got rid of the met, the iron stuff yet, but the bricks because the bricks give stone, I needed gravel and stone to make concrete anyways, so you'll notice that there used to be bricks everywhere, but they're, they're mostly gone, because you know what bricks I'm talking about, these are the ones. Which I know there's better ways to get stone, but the whole point is to yeah, kill two birds with one stone. Who's ever house... which one is it? There's some house that I keep killing zombies in every morning. I think it's this one. I think it's Packrat's house. Is it this one? Yeah. This house right here, his door has been beat to hell multiple times. I've repaired it, as you can see. Um, but yeah, he's been having bad nights. Um, yeah, so that's about it. I think everything is as good as it's going to get before day seven. I really think day seven is going to end up being more relaxed than we originally anticipated just because of the way they they do their own difficulty. But we're going to find out. Oh, another thing I've been doing is trash. If we see any trash in the street, I've been destroying those. Because, again, those things are never going to respawn. So there's no reason to just keep them lying around. Um, but, yeah. Here's our town hall. If you guys have suggestions on uh, ways to make it even better, I'd be happy to hear those. Um, again, I think. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you my house because I think I think the still will look good if we uh, if we go full on still. And I, again, I'll show you what a little bit more of that looks like. I don't have much more than what we see here, but I have done a tad bit more on the front of our house. These mini bikes are very bugged. It's quite it's quite a shame. like a video with my stamina right now. This is what happens when you run six blocks in your town. <sighs> mm. 
during a co stream, someone made a comment that uh, should change this from Doc to Dick just to prank him. I really like that idea. It'd be so easy to do, too. You just remove like those bits and put blocks down the center, and then it becomes an eye. And then I gotta use add a K, right? <laughs> that might have to happen at some point. Um, yeah, I've done it slightly more here, and you can see how the blocks kind of, after you get so many of them, they kind of come together like that. It looks pretty good. Um, I'm going indoors. And I've also put some iron bars around my house. But I'd already put down... Um, I'd already put down some wood. That's a video. I don't feel scared of a video, really. Uh, but yeah, I put down iron bars around here. Just because it's not a place I hadn't put down wood yet. And I'll, I'll eventually destroy this wood and fix that up. But I plan on spending all my time in Town Hall tomorrow, during the hordes anyways. Um, so, I figure we can fortify that as a group and defend it as a group. So none of our houses will really get messed up. Um, it's pretty lucky that I had uh, been already dumping stone in here, because I've used most of my stone, and you know this has been running the entire time I've been on today. Uh, and the same thing with this one. Which this one I think I can turn off finally. Uh, I've used mostly iron. The slow thing for this one is getting all the clay in there. Clay burns very slowly. Um, I don't think I have anything else to put in there. Oh yeah, this glass I was gonna stick in there. But yeah, I think we're uh, we're as ready as we're gonna be for tomorrow's horde horde time, horde times. Um, so. I guess the only last thing I was going to do is make some magnum bullets. So, I don't have any bullet tips, so I'll do that in a bit. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I think that you're going to get two episodes on this day because I had the episode with beef. So, this is probably the second episode you've seen today. So, I hope you have enjoyed a little bit of extra content going over the, the repairs of our town. I stole a school desk. These school desks right here, man. You guys probably know them. Oh, well, if you're if you're like my age, you'll remember them as the school desks you used to crack your back on in school. I know I used to crack my back on those things. Like those were those were the chiropractors of the '90s, man. Um. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed as always, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye bye, everybody.